What is up, my little trolls and trollettes out there? And today it is me coming at you with another unboxing. I believe this will be the third one on my channel. Yeah, it's one, three on my channel. Yeah. So um, today you can see we got my two trusty boxes here that we're going to unbox. Ironically, I'm holding the camera up with an Under Armour bag that I have some stuff in there, but don't feel like unboxing. So. Which box should we start with? No, we're not going to do any mini money mo because that is like if you start with one, it ends up being the opposite one. All right, how about we do this? This box punched this box, this one punched this one in the face. Well, in the sign. What color was the the the, the, the tear? Tear, yeah, tear. What color is the tear? He's shy. I'm sorry. Um, about the turquoise because I don't know which one that's gonna be. And I apologize if I spell it wrong. T U R Q U I S E. We're gonna unbox this one first. Alright, let's see this. So, uh, here guys, we have, let me take this off, and Under Armour, yeah, Under Armour, but yeah, so, these are for my fall baseball, and yeah, here they are, yep, there we go. I like them. I like the stuff on the side, how it's, uh, if you ever buy Under Armour cleats, they're very nicely designed. I really like the bottoms. Um, Under Armour usually has that in the front, and it, it's almost like, it's extra padding there for your toe, and I really like that. Uh, there's the inside, I don't think you can see it. But yeah, very nice cleat. Um, I will probably try these on sometime and actually do a review of them on my channel. Yeah, so those were the baseball cleats. Now, what else did I get? Um, did I get football cleats? Uh huh. Yes, I did. Good guess. There's somebody brooming outside. Startled me. Uh, this doesn't want to go. There we go. Alright. Yeah. Very nice set of plates. Now. Mmm. Right. Um. Yeah. So. Let's unbox this. is the Mercurials. In fact, they are especially the Mercurial Vortex FGs. And uh, I love these. I actually had to debate whether I wanted the Mercurial Victory 3 FGs or these. And uh, I just like these better. Um, they smell like paint. That's always a good sign. Um, there's the inside of the boot. Uh, there's the bottom of it. Now, I you, you guys are probably thinking, well, he just got the hypervenoms. Well, the thing is, um, with the hypervenoms, they were made for guys who designed them like Neymar. And Neymar, I don't know if you've ever seen them or if you ever looked at his cleats. They are especially designed for people who have uh, especially soccer feet where they're thin and they're long. That's the kind of feet you're supposed to have for soccer cleats. On the other hand, mine are thick and long. So, it's really hard for me to buy soccer cleats. And when I tried these on compared to the Hypervenoms, these were clearly the better cleat. So, I chose these. Uh, yeah. 
Um, the Nike Hyper Venoms, I'm sure, are amazing cleats. I really am sad. I never got to try them out. Well, I did, but they were too small for me. Um, the Mercury is designed in a different way, which I find a little better. But yeah, that's uh, that's just my opinion. We all have our own different opinions on soccer cleats, football cleats, football cleats, whatever you prefer. But yeah, so this was the third unboxing on my channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed. We unboxed baseball cleats and soccer cleats, which I said I will do a review on. I will actually probably go up to the baseball field and hit with those tonight because my ankle needs to learn how to step again because I bat left and I throw right. Don't call me a weirdo. I step with that foot and uh, kind of needs to get more power in it So because my fall baseball starts tomorrow. So... I will actually probably record a round of hitting with those and a little bit of fielding. And, uh, yeah. And with the Nike Mercury Reels, I will probably do, uh, hold on. Okay, that's it. These, uh, by the way, these cleats were $69.99. Don't laugh. Stop that. Sixty dollars is not funny. Stop. No. It's not fun. It's a, a number. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Good. Stop. These were sixty nine. Oh my god. Sixty nine ninety nine. I'm just gonna ignore you from now on. These are sixty nine ninety nine. Make me so mad. But, in all seriousness, those were $69.99, and um, the highest mercurials were $204.99. I can't laugh at that, can you? But, um, in my personal opinion, I don't see um, the difference between high price soccer cleats and those kind of soccer cleats. It's not like the 204 mercurials came with a backpack or anything like the Nike Hyper Venoms. But, yeah. Um, I just prefer those Mercurials. It's just my personal opinion. I always, but with the Under Armour cleats, um, I just think Under Armour makes the best, uh, baseball, excuse me, best baseball cleats. And it's not like Nike or Adidas can't hang with them. Under Armour just specializes, at least in my opinion, specializes in baseball and football. Nike specializes, I think, in football and soccer. But yeah, so um, I will be posting two videos, one for the Mercurials and one for the Under Armour. If, in case you want, if you like these cleats and you are playing fall baseball, or I'm just wearing these for winter soccer, and I'm probably going to try them out before that, these are the Mercurial Vortex FGs. Uh, you can buy them at your local dick store. You are really immature. You know that? You know that? Very immature. Stop. I'm not even going to tell you where I got the Under Armour. Maybe. These are the Under Armour Heater Metal TPUs. Uh, I don't know why they're called TPUs, but yeah. Um... So that's what these are. They are authentic MLB cleats. That's what it says in the box, I guess. So they're like top of the line. But yeah. Sooner I will most likely have a video posted tomorrow of me playing with the Under Armour cleats. And I will probably have a video posted in the next week or two weeks of these. So you guys. We'll be getting a review sooner than later. Let me put this back in the box. Why are you so immature, by the way? Yeah, you are. Have you not noticed? Oh my god. I'm just gonna ignore you. But, uh,
And if you guys, by the way, don't agree with me that, um, soccer cleats don't do the work that $204 cleats do and $69 cleats do, <clears throat> stop. I will shut the video down and not tell you the story. There are some things that actually do matter, like a baseball bat. <clears throat> In my personal opinion, I can hit, I hit five home runs this season with a $70 bat, and then again, it was on clearance for $30. Yeah, we had coupons, and it was on clearance, and we get an employee discount. So, I got a $100 bat when I could have gotten a $200 bat, but it all works out. Because I have five home runs. But there are things that matter with these bats. Because, well, there was this kid who got, I'm sure you don't want to listen it. Just close out the window if you don't want to listen anymore. There's this kid who had a $500 bat. Hit 12 home runs this season. Broke it. Had to use his $200 bat. By the way, he is rich. He got nominated for the home run derby. Had to use his $2 bat. His $500 bat. Broke two days before the derby. Hit zero home runs. There was my story. Hope you enjoyed it. I could care less if you don't. But if you did, leave a like, comment down there, and subscribe. And I will have a video posted tomorrow of the Under Armour. And I will have a video posted in the next one to two weeks of the Mercury. But that's all for now, guys. So, uh, just remember buy the $69.99 cleats. Goodbye.